Chameleon Empath 2.0 antenna, unboxing, setup, and SWR test. Got that coming up next. Bill from Ham Radio Basics here. If you like the content of this video or anything on my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any future content. With that, let's begin. The Chameleon Empath 2.0 is one of the best portable antennas that is out there. It is allow, allows you to set up in a, in a variety of positions and it's easily deployable, setting up in minutes. We're gonna do a look at the unboxing, the setup, and also an SWR test. So without any further ado, let's roll that clip in its entirety. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing for the Chameleon Empath 2.0 portable antenna. So let's take a look and see what we got here. Now, first of all, here are the directions and they're very complete and it does go into detail and it shows you the uh, com exactly what, what all the parts are and the different configurations. It's very detailed in its setup, so I would highly recommend that you take a look at this. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, take the bag out first, and then take the part of the antenna out here. Let's go ahead and take the box out, get the box out of the way. Now let's take a look and see what we have in here. One of the things that they're very generous, they give you some great coax. You can see it has a choke. And this is the end that you attach to the hybrid mini. Okay, here we have the ground spike, and right here, here's the ground spike, and this is this is where you would attach your counterpoise. Now they did give you two winders. Here is one with the counterpoise on it. And here is another one with the antenna wire on it. And again, the antenna wires for the different configurations here. Here is the mill whip extension. Again, these are it's very easy to set up, and we'll be taking a look at that here in a few minutes. They also include this rainproof pouch to cover everything, that, to keep everything nice and dry. And they also include the hybrid mini. You would remove these nuts down here and take this off the top to go ahead and to set it up in a vertical configuration. And here's where your coax would be. And here is your whip antenna right here. And again, we'll go ahead and take a look and see how this is set up. Okay, we saw the unboxing. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a setup. And the setup that I chose to do was a vertical setup. I've already got the ground spike laid in, so we're going to go ahead and attach the counterpoise to it here. And you untwist the red knob. Just be careful not to lose it in the grass. Put it through the eyelet and then attach it to the spike here. And that's good to go. Don't forget to extend your counterpoise fully. Next, we're going to go ahead and assemble the port antenna portion. It's very easy, everything just snaps into place for the whip and also for the mill whip as well. You will hear them click into place. It's very easy to hear. Of course that's the hybrid mini and it goes on the bottom of the extension right there like that. that's on. 
Now let's go ahead and set this down. And we're going to go ahead and get the mill whip extended. And again, each slot fits into the other one. And it's, what's real nice is there's uh, plastic between both of them, which really helps seal that in case of inclement weather, which is real nice. Okay, that's in. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the mill whip on top of the whip here. And the total length on this is 17 feet. Unfortunately, it's out of camera angle, so, so I can't show that here. Now, this was probably about the toughest part of getting it together. Uh, this, it needed to get... The, the threads on it were hadn't been used before and it needed some, some coaxing but it, it it ended up working just fine now we got it all set up we're going to go ahead and attach the coax to it and again make sure that you put the end with the choke right at the hybrid mini there it is it's all ready to go and here's what it looks like fully extended and assembled And again, it's about 17 feet. Let's go ahead and take a look at the SWR tests that I ran on the Chameleon Empass 2.0 in vertical mode. Question of the day. What did you think of the Chameleon Empass 2.0 unboxing, setup, and SWR test? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as well. And as always, it's a great day to make a QSO. Seven threes, everyone. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it